Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for having us tonight. I say it's been a wonderful experience. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for the opportunity, um, Apostle Chinwe and um, Daddy. Thank you. God bless you. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I've been asked to talk, talk about um, Titus chapter 2, um, verse 3. Um, you know, the aged woman, likewise, that they be in behavior as becoming holiness, not false accusers, nor giving too much wine, teachers of good things. We are home builders, aren't we? Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just like to say a word of prayer before we go ahead. Father, we just thank you for the privilege to be here tonight. Thank you for making us your builders. And thank you for the privilege, oh God, to be called your own and for keeping us alive even at such a time as this that we're still here converging with one another. So we celebrate you, Lord, and we appreciate you. And we say thank you, Lord, even for this gift of life that you have given unto us. We have not taken it for granted. We just celebrate you. Thank you, Lord. Lord, as we speak, as we go into your word, we ask, oh God, that your word will be a light unto us. You will speak directly into each and every one of our hearts that none of these words will fall to the ground in the mighty name of Jesus. Use me as a, as a voice for your women to the glory and praise of your name and meet us and every one of our needs tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why uh, Mama made me like Grandma now. So, because um, this place that she gave me is a Grandma's corner. So, so I, I guess I'm being promoted now. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So Titus 2, like, you know, we read that, you know, the hate women should not perform or operate like slanders, you know, slanderers. They should be open and encourage the younger ones to do the needful for the Lord. And, you know, I was looking at that and I said, what is slander? What is um, slander? And why is she giving me, you know, not to be a slanderer? You know, and what is slanderer? And I looked at my Bible, my dictionary, and a slanderer can be called uh, a slanderer, a liar, judgmental, people who criticize other people, full of sarcasm, negative people, always complaining, gossips, never say anything good in the next person. And, you know, this is <laughs> what, um, 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 so Paul, you know, was adjoining his son, um, um, what they are saying to Titus here, that Titus needs to be very careful and teach these people and let the holder women, if you see the first place is about the holder men, and then this place is about the holder women. Mm -hmm. So there's a big responsibility that God is placing into the hands of us as, you know, home builders and for your information i just like you to know psalm 127 one says mm -hmm. except the lord build the house they labor in vain that build it and except the lord watch over the city the watchmen wake but in vain and mind you the holy builder is the master builder and the master builder is the god of all creation he is the holy one because every wise woman builds her own home Praise God. And may God give us the privilege so that our place will be a heaven, even for other women to come in and learn and have wisdom in the mighty name of Jesus. So, you know, we just look, I just want to focus on what we say, what comes out of our mouth every time that we come in contact, you know, with other people. For me, I've made up my mind that anytime I have contact with somebody, I must be able, God must help me to drop something positive into the life of that person. Let my life always affect positively the lives of other people that I come in contact with. Every morning I pray that prayer, who do you want me to be a blessing to today? The words of my mouth, let it encourage somebody today. And according to, you know, Ephesians chapter 4 verse 29, it says, watch the way you talk. Let nothing foul or dirty come out of your mouth. Say only what helps each. 
what else? Each word is a gift. Some people are even looking for words to speak out of, of their mouths that they don't have their dumb. But God has put mouths, in your, uh, words in your mouth. So be careful what comes out of your mouth. The Bible says out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So it is what you carry that you deliver. If you don't have good things stored in there, of course, you never say anything good in other people. You know, that is what a slanderer is called here. And the Bible is acknowledging and admonishing us tonight. Do not be a slanderer. Be an encourager. Every word that comes out of your mouth, be words that they come in with grace to build other people. See good in, you know, well, everything around you. And if you have a positive attitude to life, I'm telling you, go far. If you don't have and everybody that walks around you has offended you, high blood pressure comes in, you're stressed, you're, you have headache, you know, and at this stage, that's not what we need in our lifetime. Amen. And um, 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 uh, Colossians 4, 6, that I already said, said, let your speech always be gracious, seasoned with salt. The goal is to bring out the best in others, not put them down. So as you know, women sometimes, or pastors, or older women, or even a married woman, or you know, people look up to you. They come to you for counsel, for advice sometimes. And you know, some of us, if we are not careful by the way we're trying to you know express our own experiences to these people, you might want to, ah, you know, all these men. That's all what they always do. Be careful. How many men have you tried? You only tried one. For me, now only one husband I've tried. So if I'm going to cancel you, I can only tell you about the one that I've worked with. Praise God. So be careful what comes out of your mouth. And I just slightly, you know, uh, quickly share a story with us. Amen. In Matthew chapter 14, uh, verse 1 to 12. And that is the story of Herodias the wife of Herod and his and her daughter Salome. Be careful of what you carry on the inside of you. We could see that this woman, you know, married her husband's brother and a prophet of God saw it and he decided that why would you be married to that? You, you know, you're, that's your brother's, um, um, uh, your husband's brother. You should not be married. And because of the word that proceeded out of her mouth, you know, she begrudged this man. They locked him up. That guy finished his, his ministry, you know, in that place. And on this particular day, King Herod, you know, he, wanted, he was doing a party celebration and everything, brought people to come out and dance. And this woman had her own slanderous tact for that man of God. So that is what I've talked about, your action and words that come out of your mouth. Be careful. So she dressed this girl up that now you had the princess. So go out there and show what you carry, what you got. You know, some of us, like, you know, when we're going out with our children, we know how we dress, dress them up to make them look good and presentable. So this woman did, decorated the girl Salome to go dance before the king. Let everybody know how princessy she was. And she did dance, of course, dressed well, showed her all her beautiful, you know, that whatever that God has given unto her. And after the whole scenario, the king was so happy and he said, now daughter, you've done well. So what would you like me to do or to give to you at this time? So Salome ran back to mom, that mom, you dressed me up, this is the assignment. So the king has said, I passed the test. So now what do I tell him? Because he's asking for something. And the woman, of course, said, give me the head of John the Baptist. That's a slanderous woman, a very slanderous one that you can never imagine such. You know, we go with the bitterness in our, in our tummy, we go to that extent, even to kill somebody. Of course, you know, the, the king had no choice, but the daughter, you know, the, the head of John the Baptist, you know, was given to her on a platter of gold. What do you carry on the inside of you? See life as, you know, a positive thing every day. That even if somebody steps on your toes, for me have decided you step on my toes, I will even say, I'm so sorry I was in your way. 
I didn't really mean for you to step on my toes and it's so unfortunate you did and I'm so sorry I shouldn't have been on your way. So if we develop, you know, all those, you know, um, attitude in our lives, you will go far. And when people come into contact with you, you will be able to deliver the best, you know, into their lives. You will not, you know, want to pour out, you know, what is negative into their lives. You all you want to do, pour out the positivity in life. Okay, my husband has been so bad. He has, you know, not taking care of me. Now a younger person comes in. My daughter comes in. Mommy, are you sure I really should get married? Of course, I'm a human being. He's a human being. We could have messed up. We could have missed it. But let God be the standard. So when you are counseling people, when you are encouraging people, no human being is perfect. But give them that looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith. Let Jesus be the standard of everyone that you come in contact with that you're counseling. Never say that to all those men, that's what they do. All those women, ah, they are all the same. If you don't give them soup money now, you know, that's what happens oh, or whatever. So be so, the encourager that God wants you to be. Speak positive into the lives of people. Let men come in contact with you and know that they have come in contact with the best part of their lives today. And you know, the, 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 the aroma that you give out unto people follows them forever. It does not leave them. They always say first appearance mat matters most. So first touch, first words that come out of your mouth, let it be as seasoned with grace. Words like salt. Salt beautifies. Salt purifies. Salt sweetens. So every word that comes out of your mouth, when people come out to you, you know, for encouragement, let it be words that we soothing, you know, their wounds. Words that we sweeten their lives. Words that we build them up. Okay, this has happened to you. Of course, it's not the end of the road. We can do better. We can make it better. We can, yes, yes, even though I messed up, but I, you are not going to mess up. That's my home. You are going to, you know, be outstanding. It's a positivity life that we're talking about. Be careful what proceeds out of your mouth. Some of us, we complain so much. I, I complain. I number one i complain you know most of the time you know like you don't like things around you you are free to complain who are we we're human beings we're growing we're work work in you know work in progress in our daily life but the attitude that we have been encouraged in this place today is let us not be slanderous let us not be people who put other people down let us be encouragers let every word that comes out of our mouth be words of positivity, words that we elevate and glorify the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Because God is just and is watching everything we're doing. Second Thessalonians 1 6 talks about it. 1 Peter 3 15 talks about it. Be careful what comes out of your mouth, be careful of your actions, be careful of your speech. People are watching you. Don't think, oh, your life is hidden. Well, you have been identified with Christ. There are people that you don't even know are watching you, but they are watching you. So be careful how you carry yourself. Be careful how you carry the grace of God upon your life and how the children, especially in the household, they are watching you. How are you portraying this image of God that you say you carry? Are you um, do as I say person or do as I do? Can they vouch that, ah, my mom, that's a, if she says that, that is it. Oh, uh, all these African parents, African mothers, is that how they call you? Be a good example to the generations coming behind. Let them know that you are there. My mom is, if she says no, it is no, that's fine. If she says yes, that's my mom for you. She obeys God. She walks in the path line of God. Be careful. Um, Post a guard on your mouth. Post a guard on your mouth. And how can you do that? I, or we already said that out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Fill, you know, yourself with the word of God that there will be no room for any idleness. There will be no room for any filthiness. So that when words are coming out, they will be words of grace. And if you know that, you know, maybe that tummy is full of anger or whatever, put bad luck. 
put a guard on your mouth. Put a guard on your mouth. God set a watch at the door of my mouth is my prayer every day because me, I talk. Praise God. Ask God to put a guard so that the words that you will say today will be words that will glorify the name of the Lord. Remember, your life is only to give him glory. You are living to encourage other people. So be careful how you speak. Be careful of your actions. That's what Psalm 141 says, that God put a guard on my mouth. Put a watch at the door of my mouth so that I don't mess you up. Because the Bible says if a man is able to pass in the way he speaks, then that is a perfect person. But if you don't pass, then you are not perfect. And God is not looking for people like that to use. He, well, you want God to use you? We're talking about this, you know, um, outstanding living for God. So let's um, be encouraged. Fill yourself up, you know, with good things from God. Let your speech be gracious. Let it be seasoned with salt. The goal is to bring out the best in other people bring out the best in other people. If that person comes to you or they are looking up to you every time, think about how can I develop this person better? How can this person become more useful for God? How can I mentor this person? How can I pour out into the life of this person? How can this person do more exploits for the Lord? And that is your purpose in life. And the Lord will help us even to do that in the name of Jesus. We're not people who pull other people down. We're encouragers. So I have a question for you right now. Can you ask yourself for me, what is on your mind? What are you thinking right now that we're talking? What are you thinking? Are you just looking at the other people flicking through Zoom and seeing who is connected? What are you thinking right now? Okay, that person has offended you. Are you willing to forgive and forget or you still want to keep rolling, rolling over? Most of the time, the thing that you think mostly what is it? If you want to be honest, just think about that. You can put it down. So today, I just I want us to ask that the Holy Spirit will help us. He will, ha will touch our hearts and keep any wrong words out of our mouth so that we can always be in tune with him. Because if you quench the spirit of God, is going to walk away from you. Some of us, God might have been saying enough, 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 enough. And you have not kept that enough. You've still followed your own heart. You have not allowed the Holy Spirit to do his own work in you as a woman, as a home builder. Do not grieve the Holy Spirit. Lord, please help me to control my tongue today. Help me to speak words of life to those around you. Help me around me. Help me to be an encourager, not a discourager. A builder of bridges, a builder of dreams, not a slanderer in the name of Jesus. Lord, I don't want to be a mean person. I want to be somebody who encourages and encourages and encourages and encourages others and glorifies the name of the Lord. And may that be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. And remember, okay. everything you say, the truth will always come out. Either you say it in uh, whatever and you thought nobody was listening when you were giving that counsel, the truth will always come out. So be careful. Be careful how you complain. Be careful what you say and how you compare yourself with other people. And the Lord will bless us in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise Amen. the Lord. Father, I'll we just say thank you even for your word, oh God, that this word, oh God, we... We yield fruit, we yield fruit in our lives in the Amen. name of Jesus. They will Amen. not fall to the ground. You will do wonders in our lives and help us to put padlock on our mouths so that our lives can give you glory. We can be perfect men and women. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Amen.